and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a video that has been very popular on YouTube at the minute and it's also been very very requested over on my Twitter and that is YouTube made me buy it. So before I get into the video I just want to quickly mention that I'm currently holding a giveaway. The link will be top line of the description if you want to enter. It's all lots and lots of makeup and yeah if you want to hop over there after you finish this video feel free to go and check it out. Also, don't forget to subscribe because it means so much and I am so close to 500, which is insane when you think about how many people 500 people are. And that is just amazing and I just want to thank you all very, very much. And before I ramble... So, the first thing that YouTube definitely made me buy and it's probably something you've seen on all of the beauty channels all around the UK and it is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Now this mascara I have very mixed feelings about. So basically I got it because so many people were raving about it and I picked it up and I accidentally got waterproof. But I've seen people raving about the waterproof one as well, they're just all supposed to be amazing. Now I prefer a lot of length rather than volume in my eyelashes. Now this is just very clumpy, however you can get it spot on if you use another mascara brush to go through after you've put it on to sort of separate your eyelashes. So I don't know, I've got mixed feelings about it. I really, really, if I can open it, don't like the brush. It's like um, plastic and the bristles on it are really short on one side and long on the other and I'm just not a massive fan of the brush. Now, as I didn't get on with this one, which is the waterproof one, a few weeks ago I went out and bought the newest one, and that is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious with Oil Blends. Now, I thought maybe because this has got oil blends in it, it won't be as, like, clumpy and will give me a bit more length and just won't be as, yeah, clumpy. Now, this one is a little bit better, but again, I just don't like the brush. The brush is different on this one. It's not, it's more of a pointed at the end and all the brush, uh, bristles are the same size all the way around. But yeah, it's not my favourite mascara by any means. But it's okay if you use another one with it. So it's okay. So if you've seen a couple of my other videos, you will know that this palette is my holy grail. And this is the Sleek Highlighting Palette in the shade Solstice. Now this is incredible and again it's definitely the sort of thing that YouTube made me buy. I saw so many beauty bloggers just raving about it, literally raving, saying how amazing it was and I can now see why because it is gorgeous. I mean, oops the phone's ringing. Okay, now the phone stopped ringing, I'll carry on. <laughs> Um, these top two shades, this one's a cream and this one's like a lavender shade. I don't know when I'll ever wear those two shades. I don't really like wearing cream highlighters and I don't know when I'll ever have an occasion to wear a lavender highlighter. But these bottom two are gorgeous. I mix these two together on an everyday basis with a little brush. Work it on the tops of my cheekbones, on my nose, on my cupid's bow, and it gives you the most gorgeous glow ever. The only thing is, the packaging gets extremely scratched. You can see the camera there. Um, it just gets very dirty and very scratched very fast, just because it is so metallic. But yeah, I 100% see why people are raving about this. So, the next few products are YouTubers' products, and that is why, obviously, YouTube made me buy them. And it is Tanya Burr's eyeshadow palettes and blush palettes. Now these are incredible. Now I very, very rarely love YouTubers products. Some of them are amazing, like Zoe's. And Tanya's are gorgeous. Now you will never, I don't think, find an eyeshadow that is as blendable and pigmented as these eyeshadows for the price. Like, just look at that. They are insane. There's a white one in the Galaxy palette. This is the Galaxy palette. And all these shades are gorgeous. I think this is my all-time favourite palette by her. 
This colour here is absolutely stunning in the crease. This white eyeshadow. Can we just talk about that? I mean, look at that. That is one swipe. Now, these are crazy pigmented, like crazy pigmented, and so soft, and I think they're about five pounds, which is insane. So yes, these are an absolute must have. They are just gorgeous, all of them. Her blusher and bronzer palette. Now, her blusher I use every single day without fail. This highlight, I used to use a lot. But recently, well since I got the sleek one, oh it's the lower one, I just haven't been loving it so much. It's very yellowy undertones. So it just looks very yellowy on your skin and I don't know, I'm more into a peachy glow. And the bronzer is really pretty, but the only thing I don't really like about it is it's got shimmer in. But other than that, they are again crazy pigmented and amazing value for the price. So the next product is this Too Faced Naturalized Palette. Now I don't see this palette very often on YouTube, however the brand Too Faced I know is raved about everywhere. Everyone has the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I just thought what is this Too Faced brand that I need to try? I got their Naturalized Palette as this is a palette that's very me. It's just got loads of colours that I would wear. I don't think there's one colour in this palette that I would say, uh, no, never wearing that. And this is insane. The pigmentation of these eyeshadows, if I do this, look at the pigmentation of these shadows. It is literally insane. Honestly, both the matte and shimmers are incredible and I just wear them on a day-to-day -day basis. They're just my absolute favourite eyeshadows ever. Now, you know in these videos where people mention dupes for higher-end products and I think they're called like Instagram dupes or Pinterest dupes, all those sorts of videos, I saw this product right here mentioned so many times for, I can't remember, I think it was the Smashbox primer. Now, I got this because I don't actually own a primer and this was my first primer that I bought. Now. I'm not going to lie, I don't like this product at all, just the feeling of it, it's very, very, uh, I don't know, almost synthetic, like silicone-y, when you rub it in, it just blur things out on your skin, however it also feels almost like you're rubbing powder all over your skin and it just gives you a horrible, greasy, just... I don't know how to explain it, it just feels absolutely ugh, gross on your skin. Now, I've lo I know people, personally know people that love this primer and actually get on with it really well and I've seen videos of people getting on with this really well. So I guess it's just a very personal preference, but for me, I don't like the feeling of this on my skin, it's just very thick and very silicone-y. So I really hope that you enjoyed the video and like seeing the products that YouTube made me buy. Don't forget to give this video a huge like and subscribe, it means so much, it's free and there's also a little notification bell which notifies you every time I upload a video, I actually send you a notification. So that's quite cool. I love you all, lots and lots, bye!